Aha, Carlitos Antonio, good night. I also have Jenny here. Wow, that's very good. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, eh? We have Dianita, that she's coming. There you go. <laughs> How's your guy feeling today? Is everything okay? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All righty, that's a miracle. Hey, it's our last class today. How you guys feel? Hmm? Do you feel okay? Do you feel Hi. Hi. Thank you. Oh, little baby is there. <laughs> yeah, is there a little girl, right, Dianita? Dianita, sorry, Dianita. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. We have, uh, you know what? It's the first time that Mr. Carlos Antonio is here really early. What happened, Carlitos? Carlitos, good night. Well, I think Carlitos is here or he's not here. Good night, teacher. A good night. Hey, Carlitos, I want to see your face. How are you guys doing today? Sorry, I don't listen. <laughs> Sorry, I spoke a little bit faster. No, I want to see your face. I want to see everybody's face. Come on. Uh, take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Janet is coming. Yay. We have also the uh, and Jenny. Okay. Hey. How was your weekend, guys? Was it good? Good. Very good. Very good. Uh, why, Dianita? What happened? Tell us, what did you do on your weekend? Um, I was in my house with oh, my daughter. Really? You stay home with your daughter? Oh, that's nice. Did yes. you watch a special movie with her? I don't know. Do um, popcorn? Uh, she, uh, she like, uh, she is like um, play. Yeah, she likes to play. Okay. Yes. What kind of a game does she like? Yes. Um, and me? Uh-huh. Mm. Do you play with her something special? No, no. I don't. Um, my daughter, it's my daughter. You like play. She likes the, she's the one that likes playing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I she, room what in about you? Uh-huh. <laughs> I room in how? Ah, um, you run in your house. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> good. So that means that you did exercises. <laughs> hmm. That's awesome. Thanks. All right. That was great. I stay home, right? Yeah, we need a relaxed time with our family. So that's great. Uh, let me check. Well, thank you, Danita. What about you, Carlitos Antonio Polanco? How was your weekend? Uh, fine, fine, teacher. What did you I do was exactly? Fine. Only in my house, relax. Uh, heard the rain. Oh, yeah, that's amazing, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes, um, it's only in my house. Only your house. Very relaxed, yes. And the first relaxed. of Popos arrived, right? The first of Popos. Yeah. Sorry, what do you mean in Popos? Some Popos. Ah, some Popos. The yeah. Night. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, without, without raining, they do, they cannot come up, right, from the earth. It needs to rain, <laughs> and then yes. that's a Popos appears, right? It's the first, is, yes. Oh, that's nice. It's true. Yeah, you know what? I remember when I was in Guatemala, uh, there are some like, uh, in Guatemala, we have a lot of native people, right? People that speak Nahuatl, right? So the, basically yeah. in, Ke in Kechikil, and I think another type of uh, language and dialect. So basically they, they, uh, they cook a lot of things and they cook the some popos de mayo. Really? Yeah, but you know what? That was a what? really that was a really cruel uh, death because there's some purpose of the magic. They they have like a, um stuff. Well, like como una olla, right? Yes. They put some oh. oil and they put the some purpose alive, and they start frighting. 
including the wings, con las alitas, <laughs> right? Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So, well, but what they do is like when they took the, the wings uh, uh -huh. and they serve you, and uh, how you say that in Spanish? Uh, hoja de huerta, yes. Oof. And on a hoja de huerta, they put a, a small quantity of those, um, uh, some papas de mayo, and they put, uh, they give you like a slide of lemon, pedazo de limón. Mm -hmm. nice and, little, you know, nice. Yeah, you know what? And I already have tried, tried them. I tried them. I was like, I think I was four or five years old by then. And mm -hmm. uh, they taste like uh, pepescas because it's exactly yeah, it's like, delicious. yeah it's exactly the same the same flavor even though when they were oh. like when they were like um i don't know cooking them right it <laughs> smells like uh carne asada like a grilled meat mm -hmm. but when you try them on it, it is like pepesca uh, yeah they're really, really good and you know what i they, believe they, they said that they have a lot of protein well, it is a protein, basically. It's really yes, healthy. I believe you. Yes, yes it it's, is. It's high protein. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So you better some, you can try some. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, not here, know, right? Because we do not cook them here. But in Guatemala, yes, they do. They do. I have tried I mean, many I, weird I things. I have to let you know that. Many weird things. Yes, uh, okay. also like egg, frog legs, anquitas de rana, frog legs as well. They taste like fish. I didn't, I didn't eat this. Is, you I, haven't uh, eaten? Anquitas de rana. <laughs> ah, they're really good, but you know I mean, what? Uh, it was in, what is it? Huayua, right? Yeah. When they were like a yes. gastronomy festival, Huayua, right? But those yes, are the true. frogs that they also cultivate. They cultivate the frogs. So they're not like any kind of frog that appears and you take it off and grill it. No, wait. No, it's, there's a frog that they cultivate and based on that, they just cook them. But they're really good. They're really good. I only had tried okay. once. Yes, only once. But they're really, really, really good. Only, uh, only eat mapache. Mapache. No, I yes, haven't snake. I haven't eaten mapache. I have tried, no, a snake, no. Not really. Me too, me. But I would like I it. Maybe I will love it. It's, it's good. I have tried uh, the but the, some pop of the mayo. I don't eat it. They are I really, really good. Yes, they're really good. But I only tried once. <laughs> yeah, we well, okay. were talking, Mr. Sirhan, about really exotic food because okay, I was asking nice. them what is exactly uh, they have done on the weekend. And Arlito said that he stayed home. And it was raining the whole day. So when I when he said they were raining, I remember the some popos de mayo that it has to rain before they come up, right? Yes. And then I was telling them one uh, uh, one thing that had happened to me when I was a little girl that I tried some popos de mayo frightened with a piece of lemon, and they're really good actually. Yeah, I, I I ate them. I ate you them. You ate them? Cric okay. Cr cricket, cricket but in Mexico City. I in Mexico, oh yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh, Mexico, oh yes. There are a lot of, with, uh, 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 yeah, there with, are small ones and the big ones. With tacos. Uh, with tacos, oh yes, uh -huh. they're really good. But depends on the, oh, if they're small and the big ones, sometimes they're really salty. They have a lot of flavor uh -huh. already. Mm -hmm. I love and, them. Uh -huh. And down, out too. Really? Ants, uh, hormigas. Ants. Ants, ants. Ah, yes, they're like some popos. But the small ones. What about you, Janet? Have you tried any exotic food? Uh, Janet's like, <laughs> no. No, never. And, never. <laughs> and you will never try it, right? No what way. No. Oh, yeah. And I will never do it. Really? You don't know. <laughs> Maybe if they prepare it really well and they don't let you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that has happened to me. Kusuko is really nice. What yeah. I haven't tried is it's, like uh, yeah. armadillo. No, no armadillo. You know, what, wizard. Yeah, it's easier than me. Yeah. Uh, what is the one? Uh, no, it's not kusuko. What's the other one? Iguana. No, that it's uh, chicken. The one that eats chicken and is appearing in oh. the frozen era, the era del hielo. 
Sarigüeya, Sarigüeya. But how you? But, but, but there's a name here in El Salvador. How you call them? It's not Kuzuko. Oh, yes, no. What's it's, the uh, name of it? Tacuacin. Tacuacin. Yeah, yeah. Yes. They say that they are no, black and white, right? Black and white. Yes. What yeah, they do, right. what they eat is the white one. They said, but you have to good, good, well prepare it because it could be like it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you will <laughs> never try it, Johnny. No, Johnny. <laughs> no. I, I remember. I remember now. Uh, the only that I eight uh -huh. was um i don't know how how to start is uh, a bambi bambi oh you mean venado. oh venado. Uh -huh. venado yeah deer deer venado deer deer, deer. deer. okay really that's good that is really good eight and it's really nice it's uh the flavor like a chicken uh huh. But I think the the meat is not white, right? It's black. I think I don't I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it's yeah, really it's good. White. It's really good. Yes. I love it. How about uh, what's the name of the other one? Uh, oh no, Peliway. Have you tried Peliway? Yes. I don't yeah. Like it. You don't like it? No. I, I love no. it. <laughs> <laughs> on these times we don't know what what we no. eat <laughs> you know exactly you know what i remember that, be. that i was a little girl by six, no, like eight or ten years old and uh, my mama used to have like a doctor's appointment in front of where it's right now um oh my goodness pro familia and uh but he, but in the 25th Avenue, La 25 Avenida Norte, yes. And uh, my mama said, it was a lunchtime. My mama said, okay, go back, have a sit, uh, search for a table, and I'm going to ask and, uh, the, the lunch for both of us. Okay. Okay, I trust my mama, definitely. And then she appeared with something that looks like bistec, right? We has uh, everything. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. And I was tasting. And I was, I, was, I already tried eating it. And I was eating like, and I was chewing this one has a really good uh, flavor, but it's like a little, um, how you say that, gummy, chicloso? Gomoso. And no, gummy, like chicloso. And I was like, um, okay, oh. but I will continue trying. And it smells oh. a little bit of milk. So it, it, really, it was really good, but it smells a little bit of milk. So like, okay, okay. It's like, it was like milky one. Okay, okay so I finished it. And my mama said, do you know what you ate? Eh, no idea. It was good. It was good because I, I like the flavor and everything. It was a little bit gummy, I let her know. And sometimes I, it smells like milk, but that's okay. Okay, you ate ubre de vaca. And I was like, what? Uh, what? Yeah, you know what? It was really good, Janet. I, have to you I had to let you know. It yes. was really good. It was really well prepared. But if my mama had yes. let me know at the beginning, that will be ubre de vaca. We'll never try it. <laughs> but but you know what it was really good yes i have to let you yeah. know it was really good yeah. good well prepared yes that's the first and last time that i had tried it <laughs> oh no yeah and also uh what's the name of that uh, in spain they call it that way the, um the testicles of the of uh, of a bull no uh -huh. no yeah los testicles of way yeah yeah, I yes. had tried it. I had tried them also. Criadillas. Criadillas. Man. Yes, criadillas. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I had tried <laughs> I a like lot it. of weird things, including caviar, guys, and I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> At least not the way they, they gave me that, but I don't like it. And, and the beef dongle? Ah, yes, I love it. I love tacos. <laughs> yeah, those are really good. Those are really good. You see, the teachers have been trying exotic foods because I love them. As long as they're well prepared, is I'm not going to get help, a bad help. I'm good for that. Yeah, that's really good, right? <laughs> Weird thing. So, Jana, she will never try them. No way. <laughs> what about you, Sir? Huh? What about you, Ew? Have you ever tried any weird or exotic food? 
No. Sirhan, yes, he said that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah Sirhan, yes. What about you, Eileen, Jenny, Kevin, Bijalta? I don't know, Carlitos Cruz, Boris, Anita Romero, Esmeralda, anybody? Loida, have you tried any exotic food? I don't know, no? I don't know. Nothing, no. Relleno de papa, no? Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love them. They're really good, especially the big ones. I love them, yes. I don't know. No, never in your entire life. Never. No, come on. Uh, maybe. Oh, really good. They're really good. I love them. Pacaya. Mm -mm. Pacaya, yeah. And it was in way, teacher. All right. No, 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 no. What else? Have you ever tried uh, a fish tamales? No. no. Ah, yes, yes, no. Yeah. Yes. Come on, Sir. Yeah, I thought, like, Sir, is that never? Fish yeah. tamales. Fish tamales. Pupusas. Pupusas. Uh, uh, Pupusas, yes. Yeah, of Are course. You no. Yeah. What tamales, about? No. Tama yeah, you know what? I, this, I, I don't this remember. Well, tamales, whoa. This tamales uh -huh. only, only eating in Mexico. No, oh, here yes. in El Salvador as well. I don't remember exactly where my husband tried them. I mean, he, he let me know, but it was like uh, the fish tamales. There was not just the the meat of the of the fish. No, remember the 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 small fish that you can fry. Mm -hmm. And they are like flat. The pepescas. Uh, exactly, but but big one, not the small one, the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. So by the, they basically they, uh, no a little bit bigger than the hotis, Loya. It is like a little bit big, but they are flat. I don't know how you say that. Platinadas, plateadas, I don't know. I think Platinada, so. Platinada, yes. It, Platinada, yes. yes. Thank you, thank you. So that's the kind yes. of fish that they put inside of the tamal. The tamal is exactly the same uh, flora and everything, right? Exactly like the, way, like the same way. But instead of putting chicken inside, they put a fish inside. You know what? Mm. It was really good. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. This, this I tried fish is... I tried it's just um, pupusas. Pupusas, Carlitos. Oh, they're really good. Really good. Yes. Also, chacaline pupusas, that's amazing. Yeah. They are like, yeah, yeah, yeah they're really good. <laughs> it, it depends, Loida. Loida, we, Loida a lot is, of is, is from my team. Yeah, she, she's Janice's <laughs> team, definitely. Yeah. And also, Evo, right? I think Carlitos Cruz, Antonio, and Sirhan, they are from my team. <laughs> they have tried them on, right? And if they have tried it, they will be more than glad to taste them. <laughs> All right, that's good. I'm very simple to eat. You're very simple to it. No, you know, I'm a, really, I'm a bit of an exotic to it. I like to try that something new. Yes, as long as I do not get sick, I'm okay with that. I will also try wizard, lizard, lizard, and also lizard, lizard eggs. And I washed it. Lizard. Um, uh, iguana. I like iguana. Yes. Iguana. Yes. It was day one, and I washed it. That was amazing. Hutas, hutas, and I washed it. Yeah, but hutas, Carlitos. Hutas, and I, wow, yeah. I good. really love really that. Yeah. 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 yeah, the only thing that I that I eat in Iguastes is is cangrejos. Oh yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. But amazing. Pobrecita. You know what? Hutas, I remember but that. But it's delicious. It's really delicious. I yes. haven't tried hutas. No, yes, hutas since I was a little girl because most of the time the hutas come from the river. And nowadays the river are really contaminated. So I'm really yes. like, mm, because I don't know where the hutas come from. So I, I know yes. I love them, but I don't want to get sick. And yeah. so, so I had to avoid it. But I remember that my grandpa used to work yeah. in a place that, uh, how you say that in Spanish? Uh, oh my God. The place when they, when they brought all the coffee? Coffee? Uh, yes, but they brought all the coffee. They separate Ingen a coffee. They, they separate it. Exactly. No, 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 it's not ingenio, it's for, no, for a sucre. It's for the car. Yeah. Yes, exactly. No, 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 no. Beneficio. Beneficio. Thank Beneficio. you so much. Beneficio. Thank you, Carlitos. Carlitos, right? Thank you, Carlitos. Yes. You say you save our days. It's exactly. I remember that he was uh, uh, working at the administrative department for the beneficial of Santa Ana. 
So there, there was a little uh, river, o oh, nascimento, right? Nascimento. So basically, there were hutes there, and also verdolaga. I remember that. And, ah, yeah, and, and what else? Well, in Barrow, yes, Barrow. So mm. basically, the river. Can you imagine? I was eight years old. No, no, I was six years old. So like, woo, like thirty something years ago, <laughs> and live it like that way, right? So everything was really clean. So I remember that yeah. that my grandma, my my father's grandma, the mother of my father, right, uh, prepared hutes. Uh, oh my goodness, they were really delicious. I, I wanted like I swell it. Yeah, yeah, uh, really good. <laughs> Make that sound. Oh yeah, that was really nice. But I haven't tried them, Carlitos and Sirhan and other and other Carlitos Polanco since I was six years old. Can you imagine? I have never tried them after that. <laughs> because as yes. I said, I, I really worry about where they come from. Because it's it, with, because I know that you can only get them from the river. There's no other place that you can get the hutas. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't no. know where they come from. And so I better not to try them because I don't want to get sick. Yeah. My yeah. mom uh, ate all the things. Mm -hmm. Um because she lives all her young life mm -hmm. on uh, Puerto. Oh, good. And oh. All, all her family uh, go, went to um, Manglar. Oh, OK, yes. And when, they when you can get, the shells. get all things. Uh, yeah. Oh, my god, that's amazing. I wish I could be like that. Oh. You know why? Because the crafts, cangrejos, the crafts from the sea. Witches. Yes, they are not exactly the same taste if you get the crafts from the river. They, they, they taste Casco different. Oh, yes. They taste different. Yeah, they taste different. The river crafts and the ocean crafts, they are taste totally different. And I think the river I ones think... are from a uh, blue one, right? Blue ones. The blue. Yeah. Uh -huh. the I think the, 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 the river is not delicious. Really, I have tried them. No, both. not too delicious like the 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 like the other like the one. ocean one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love both. As long as it's seafood, it's fine for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love seafood by heart. By heart, I love it. Yeah, that's one of my favorite foods. Seafood. I, when I very child. Ooh, uh, okay. Ooh, long, long that was ago. long time ago. I, I, I didn't, <laughs> live in <laughs> Yes, seventeen, maybe okay. seventeen. Yes, yes. nineteen seventy. Okay. Uh, I I eat uh, candado crab. I don't know in in Spanish. In Spanish is uh, cangrejo de candado. It's the river. Really, really? It's, it's a big one. No, big. Big, wow! Very delicious because I it's more that. sweet. It's more sweet and the oh. the, the crowd of the ocean. Really? Oh, it's very, interesting. Very sweet, yes. Yes. Mm. But in, 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 in this time, it was uh, not contaminated. The, of course. Very different. Yes. Now it is really different. You need to be yes. very careful. <sighs> But I love them. When when I saw the big uh, shrimps, right, and the lobsters, I love lobsters. Me too. But they're really expensive here in El Salvador. No, no in, the, in the coast. And the coast, okay. Yeah. Well, also you yeah. can get them from the Union, right? Union, also, well, La Union. Yeah, oh it's cheaper. God. I know, but imagine I have to go there. I need to <laughs> ask somebody who comes th from there to bring me something because now I remember, <laughs> but you know what? Comparing to other country guys, we have a really good price in seafood. Uh, because for example, I remember that uh, one of uh, my husband's colleagues, he came from Colombia, but he came from Medellin, right? The capital one. So basically he, he and we went to the, every time that he comes, by since there were like the for the same department, my husband need have to took him out right to eat something right to spend time together. So basically, we went to like uh, Puerto de la Libertad. Yeah, I think it was a restaurant called Dolce Vita. I remember that. I think so. I, I, so I, I, I yeah, know that. You know that. So basically, he ordered uh, a dish of four mini lobsters 
with uh, shrimps and uh, in in cheese. Like, can you imagine? I was like, wow. oh, yeah. And I was like, but we were like, <laughs> and, and by that time, by that time, the dish cost like eighteen dollars. By that time, we were like, okay, eighteen dollars. Okay, but of course, he got the credit card of the company that he can put it right. He can buy it. So he said, okay, no, I'm going to ask it. And you said, are you sure? It's eighteen bucks a dish but he said you know what he, the same dish here is $18 but if I ask for the same dish in Colombia it's gonna be 50 bucks I was like what for real yes and why because here in El Salvador you can get a uh, seafood really fresh but in Colombia no for example yes. if you live in Medellin if you want to go to the to the Very coast busy. it yeah it mm -hmm. takes two days to arrive to the coast mm -hmm. and two days to come back. That means almost a week only going back and forward. Can you imagine? <laughs> yes, so you will get the, the seafood is not fresh. It's always not frozen. Cheaper. Exactly. It's not cheap. That's why it is not cheap. Can you also, mm -hmm. so if he compares 50 bucks and 18, of course, right? Is cheaper. Really so it, cheaper. Yeah, more than $30 off, right? Like yeah. thirty-two dollars off, so yeah, he, he said no way. I will enjoy this. Okay, okay, we said enjoy it, man. <laughs> enjoy it. It was really good. It was really good. Yes, but you can in in Cuba you can get a lobster for one dollar. Wow. Yes. Can you it's imagine? Cheap. <laughs> Lucky it's guys. A big one. Yes, you can get a lobster for one dollar. Yes, it's really good. So it depends on which your country you go. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could go there more frequently, but no. <laughs> right now we cannot go. <laughs> All righty. Steffi arrives also, and also Kevin Bijalta. Okay, guys. Welcome to the jungle one more time. We're talking about really interesting <laughs> topic, right? Seafood and exotic foods and all the stuff. Okay, just to like start like warming up a little bit. I want you guys to express yourself. So that you know that with me, you always will be, will be speaking no matter what, right? And I know that is a really interesting topic that everybody loves. Of course, food. Tell me, who doesn't like food? Come on. Oh yes, food is really delicious, right? Mm, I really thank God I created food that really is delicious. And a variety of that, right? Because we can have, for example, apple, but there's more than 300 species of apple. And here in El Salvador, we only know at least five. Can you imagine? But for example, yeah, yes. Like, like potatoes. Uh -huh, like potatoes, yeah. Uh, there are too many spe species of potatoes and here is very short. The we only, species. I think we know only two, right? Yeah. Could you maybe imagine? four, maybe oh, four. Four. Oh, four. Yeah, so including the mini ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. the, and the, the baby red potatoes. ones, the baby ones, yeah, the red ones. Oh, the red one. Oh, the red one are like, uh, like uh, a jode. They are sweet. Yes, they are sweet, like camote, right? Yes, camote. yes. Yeah. it's delicious. It's really delicious. I love it as well. I love food. Oh my goodness, I'm already starving. <laughs> I already have my dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. So please stop talking about food. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit uh, more weight just like listen to you guys talking about food i'm just kidding okay guys so today we're gonna have so much fun because besides that we're talking about food which we really enjoy the most right and we also were going to play it and as well we're going to recap but we're going to reinforce the reading part which is which i know that is something that we need to just develop more and we're going to focus on that so this is going to be our last class we deserve to have a sound so much fun but at the same time, continue learning, okay? <laughs> so guys, today I'm, I have chosen two articles for the most recent topics that we have seen. So the first one that we're going to read is going to be about um, neighborhoods, but from different countries. Okay, but it's a small, it's a small, it's a small article. I'm not a bad teacher. Come on. No, 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 no. It's a small article that basically, guys, talks about that. Talks about uh, 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 different countries. So basically, this is what I'm gonna show. 
and I will search with you right now. I have it here. So let me just a couple of minutes because I forgot. Okay, cool. So that means the topic of this article is the world in one neighborhood. That means that in one neighborhood, you will be able to find a different countries. Can you imagine? That's interesting, right? Okay, so guys, in this article, this is something that we're going to do. And I'm going to give you one advice. This is a mini article, but it has a lot of content and a lot of vocabulary. It's really rich. And uh, the reason why I have chosen this article is because um, a, um, the question I will give it to you, the first question you're going to answer, you're going to find the answer in the first uh, in the first paragraph. I had to let you know something, guys, and this is like a reading tip, okay? That I will let you know. Sometimes. If you're going to do the TOEFL or the TOEIC in uh, the future, or just for you to, to have it like a pampa tomatata, right? Just for you to have an advice. Um, sometimes when you re read an article for a different topic, I have to let you know that uh, they are like, sometimes there are between four or five paragraphs in one article. And the first paragraph, most of the time, the first paragraph, it is the author's opinion about the topic. It could be positive opinion, or it could be negative opinion. For example, if we we're talking about tattoos, let's say an example. Okay, in the first paragraph, the author will let you know what he or she thinks about that topic. It could be positive thing, or it could be negative things. And in the consecutive paragraph, paragraph two, three, four, and five, the author lets you know what is the reason why he thinks or she thinks like that way. So in the first paragraph, you find it out that Auro's opinion. And in the other paragraph, you find it out the reason why he thinks like that way or she thinks like that way. So it's really important. And this is a tip that I will give it to you because that will help you save time when somebody asks you for a specific question on an article, okay? That will help you not only in English, that will help you also in Spanish as well. Alrighty, so let me share right now with you and hopefully you can see my screen. There you go. We're gonna practice the pronunciation guys, of course. Alrighty, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Is it, is it yes. much better or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Or bigger please. Bigger one? Alrighty. There you go. Is it is it much better? No. Yes. 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 All right. Okay, guys. So basically, no, no, the no. yes. What? Yes. Okay. Like, like yes. that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. It's much better. Okay, guys. So basically, the article is the war in one neighborhood. That means, guys, that we're going to talk about one neighborhood. And then in that neighborhood, we're going to find a lot of countries, okay? So basically, guys, this is what I want you to do. Do me a favor, Sirhan. Can you please be so kind to read for me the information that is in the red square? Red square. Uh, scan the article, mm -hmm. then check the countries that are not mentioned. Very good. Okay, red. guys. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Uh -huh. Brazil, China, Greece, India, Spain, Sudan, Uruguay, and Vietnam. Aha. Uh -huh. Repeat after me. Brazil. 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 Uruguay. 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 Spain. 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 Very good, guys. So a scan, guys, means quick view. Like don't you don't have to read that whole article. No. You just make you just use your leave your eyes and quick view. That means, guys, that I'm going to ask to give you like a quick view of the three paragraphs. And now, okay, I'm going to move faster from one paragraph to another one because it doesn't take more than one minute to answer this question. But I had to let you know something, guys. Dad, in the, um, in the first paragraph, you're going to have, or you're going to find the answer for the, what Sirham have just read. Okay, so do me a favor. A scan that means quit view. Do a quit view on paragraph one, please. Don't read it. Just quit view. Okay. 
Okay, good. So guys, tell me, tell me guys, according to what you have just scanned on paragraph number one, which are the countries that are not mentioned, not mentioned in the- Sudan, Sudan Brazil, and Japan. Greece, Greece, Greece and uh -huh. Sudan. Greece and Sudan. Okay, are you, are you sure it's only two? Spain. Spain? Spain? Okay. Anything else? No. No? Okay. Let's double check if you're good or not. Don't worry about that. Let's continue. All right. Okay, guys. So you said that. You said Greece is not mentioned, Spain is not mentioned, and Sudan is not mentioned. That's what you said. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So now I want you to do me a favor. I want you guys to help me read the article, okay? And then we're going to answer some questions. Uh, okay. Uh, um, Anita Romero, could you please be so kind to start reading for me? I will let you know when you stop. Guys, I want everybody to put your Microsoft on because I'm going to ask somebody randomly to continue reading when your other classmates stop, okay? Okay, okay, uh, Anita Romero, could you please be so kind to start? Uh, excuse me, teacher, my internet is bad. It's bad. Ah, don't worry. Are you in the WhatsApp group, Anita? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna to send you the, uh, the part of the article that I want you to read. So let me just a couple of minutes. Okay, I just sent it to you already. Thanks. Okay, so you can start uh, reading when you have it opened. You have it? Yes. Okay, cool, awesome. Okay, can you please start reading paragraph now, number one? Um, the sidewalks mm -hmm. are closed crowded with mm. people chatting in Cantonese. Mm -hmm. And Indian men sell spice from the nice. corner shop. Aha, uh -huh, continue. Brazilian music plays low, low, loudly? loudly from a cafe. Is it China? Mm -hmm. India? Brazil? No, it's Kens Kens Kensington Market? Kensington Market, a neighborhood in Toronto, Canada. Very good. Stop there. Okay, continue reading, Sir Han, please. Kensington Market was one was one an Eastern European and Italian neighborhood. But the area changed along with its residents. Very good. Stop there. Continue, Carlitos Cruz. Please come to Portuguese. Then is action to people from Iran, Vietnam, Sudan, Brazil, the Caribbean, and the Middle East. Very good. Okay. There you go. Continue reading for me, uh, wow. Janet. Janet. Yeah, I can see all the all the test. Thanks. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Okay, go. Cool. Today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue. Yeah, I can see it. Today, multicultural. You can hear more than a 100 languages on its streets. Mm -hmm. New residents bring many new traditions. Very good. Stop there. Stop there. Very What's good. What's really cool about... Very good. I, she's, she gets excited. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Continue reading for me. Ew. Okay. What's really cool about Kisden is the Hazung has urinating in. You feel as though you're never in Toronto anymore, says one resident. Mm -hmm. 
Continue. Unique is the market. Unique is that is always changing. Say so it's another. Very good. Uh, continue, please, uh, Loida. It isn't surprising that the area in and around Kensington Market is becoming a popular place to live. Mm -hmm. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is exciting and it has good public transportation. Okay, stop there. Very good. Mr. Carlos Polanco, continue, please. There are apartments of every size and for every budget. Mm -hmm. It has inexpensive stores, fun, coffees, fresh and fruit, and vegetable markets, and restaurants with almost every type of cuisine. Has one resident says, this place is the heart of the Toronto. Very good, excellent job, guys. Excellent, good try. So you were right. They, they didn't mention Spain and Uruguay, right? And Sudan. Sudan, yes. Sudan, yes. Sudan is here as a first one yes. in the first paragraph. So eh, only one run. Okay, that's okay. No problem. All right, guys. Now what we're gonna do is just some practice some um pronunciation of some words, okay? There you go. Repeat after me. Sidewalks. 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 No walks, no walks. 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 Remember China walks. walk? China walk? Yes? So you said sidewalk. Sidewalk. That is plural, right? So it's side sidewalks. Sidewalks. Walk. Very good. Now the, the next one. Crowded. 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 You know what crowded is? Cannot. Uh, Mucho tráfico, mucha gente. No, mucha gente. Very good, Lo Loira. When you go, when you, we used to go to the Cuscatlan oh. Stadium, guys, and el fans, the people they were playing, yeah, there were a lot of people, right? They were crowded. Yeah. And you cannot con... move. Con mucha gente. Like in, sí. like an um, asinado, atestado. Que esté atestado de personas. Mm -hmm. Como que vas al mercado central and you cannot move that way. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Like that. Okay. Man sells spices. 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 Man sells spices. Okay. Spices. Brazilian. Brazilian. Laudi. Laudi. Café. 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 Like that. Okay. Kensington. 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 Very good. Eastern European. Eastern, Eastern, Eastern European. 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 Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Residents. Residents. Portuguese. 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 East Asians. East, East Asians. Asian. East Asian. Caribbean. Caribbean. Middle East. Middle East. East. No, East. East. no, East. East. Middle East. East. Very good. Like, East. you remember the Paris for Caribbean? Like that way? Okay, very good. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next one that I would like to just read a little bit and recap the pronunciation of some words. I know, guys, some words are brand new for you, so I do understand that sometimes you don't know how to pronounce it, so that's okay, no problem. That's what we're here for. The Iran, iron, iron, okay. iron. Yes. All righty, there you go. So let's do this one. Okay, down. You can say truly, truly, truly multicultural. 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 Right. Okay. One hundred languages. One hundred languages. languages. Very good. Um, traditions. 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 Excellent job. Let me go back and move on. Let me search for this. Yes, I'm going to move this one. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. No, this is what I want. There you go. I think we have another one here that we need also to improve a little bit. It's not too much, okay? It's not too many of them, but 
I want you guys to pay attention on pronunciation. Let's double check mm -hmm. this one. This one I'm gonna put. It. All righty, let me check this one. Uh, 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 oh, yes. Always changing. Always, Always changing. changing. And this one, unique. 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 Mm -hmm. Says another. Says another. Remember the the. Um, I have to let you know something. The the verb is say, right? Say, yes. Say. When you have the verb without the s, you said say. But if you have the verb with the s, that means that you're talking about a third person because you're talking about somebody. Who, uh, who pronounce this information. So when you do that, you don't pronounce says, you pronounce says. 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 Say singular or an infinity way. And says when you're using that same verb, but with a third person singular. Okay? That's really important. All righty. Surprising. 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 In and around Kensington Market. In and around, around Kensington Market. 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 Reasonable. 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 Exciting. 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 Okay. Size and for every budget. Size, Size and for, for, for every budget. 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 Vegetable, Vegetable markets. Vegetable markets. <laughs> Restaurants with almost every type of cuisine. Restaurants with almost every type of cuisine. Very good. As one resident says. As, As one, one resident says. says. This place is the heart of Toronto. This, this place, place is the heart, the heart of, Toronto. of Toronto. Very good. Oh my God, you are so amazing, guys. Okay, so now that we have just read, let's double check, guys, how much you have understood about your reading. Okay, so let's, we already read the article. And then, guys, we have three announcements here. Let me put it in a little bit bigger. There you go. Because I want you guys only to see the announcements. There you go. Okay, guys. So then I want you guys to write the paragraph next to the idea. Okay, this is what I want you to do. We have here the idea, right? The residents and their traditions make Kensington Market a multicultural neighborhood. Guys, do you remember in which paragraph, one, two, or three, that idea was mentioned? Do you remember that? Second one. The second the one? Second one. All right, does everybody agree? Yes. Okay, okay, yes, let me check. Multicultural, yeah, very good, that's the key, excellent guys. What about the second one? People from all over the world live in Kensington Market. One, two, or three, what do you think? One, excellent. And one, you mean like roof, roof, or number one? <laughs> okay, number one. one. Okay. Number one. And the last one, the neighborhood has many good characteristics. Number three. Number three? three. Okay, cool. Excellent. Now, guys, do me a favor. We need to check the things that we can find in Kensington Market. What we can find? Can we find inexpensive stores? Yes or no? Mm. Yes. yes. Yes, right? Yes. 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 Of course we can. What about big apartments? Can we find it? Yes. 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 Okay. Can we find good schools? No. Uh, no. No. Beautiful it beaches. It doesn't say, right? Okay. Beautiful beaches? No. 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 Great markets? Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Good restaurants? Yes. 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 Yeah. And what else we have? Let me check it out. Let's move. Okay. I need to switch for here. All right, there you go. What about many different cultures? Can we find it? Yes. yes. Yeah, of course, right? Yes. Everywhere. Yes. Interesting old buildings? No. Did no. I say, right? No. Good public transportation? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Now, guys, do me a favor. Let's go back with us. 
Uh, do you know, guys, any neighborhood? I don't know, maybe here in El Salvador or any other place that you have lived or you have visited that is kind of similar to the Kensington one in Canada that has like a multicultural things in one neighborhood. Do you know something else, something like this or no? I don't know. No, 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 Steffi, no. In this country, no. No, right, in this country, no. What about you, Carlitos Cruz, that you have traveled to uh, Italy and other places? Do you remember? Uh, Italy, yeah. Yeah, there is? Okay. Uh, mani, mani, mani cultura. Many cultural, many uh, okay. cultural, okay. Many uh, cultural, Asia, um, and it's Europe. Mm -hmm. Yes, also in, Louis in Louisiana, you can find it. In New York as well. Woo. Neighborhood with Japanese, Thailand. Yes. Uh, Chinese. Chinese ones? Chinese. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Italy. Italy. Yes, definitely. Arabic. Arab Arabic, yeah. Yeah, Arabic. you can find a lot of things. Yes, you're right mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Any other places? Greek. 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 Yes, Greek. Greek. Oh, yes, okay. I love it. And Turk. And Turk. Money Turk. Yeah. Money Turk. Yes, definitely you can find it. That's good. Excellent. Okay, guys. So you see, it wasn't hard, right? The article was, was it? No, right? It was easy peasy no. quizzy, right? Yeah, I know. I know. That's what I have chosen. But I have chosen another one. Hmm. Now we can try it on. Let's double check if you like this <laughs> article. Hopefully you do. Let me check this one really quick. Yeah. Okay, Whiskey is here. So uh, you have heard him. Okay, so guys, these remember that the last uh, topic that we have seen, it was related, guys, to a to physical appearance, right? Remember? Physical appearance and also <laughs> way to get dressed, right? Mm -hmm. And we have like learned some vocabulary about that. So basically, guys, this article is going to be a little bit harder than the other one. Why? Yeah. Because has, it will have many new words for you. And also uh, the information, it will be a little bit complex. But I want you guys to get used to this type of uh, articles. So basically, the article name is Your <coughs> Style Questions Answer. This is the article. And this one basically is written by, or written, but Ken and Pixie, who are really uh, well known as a criticist from, um, I don't know, from styles. So I'm going to share right now my screen with you. There you go. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Would you like to make it a little bit bigger? Yes, right? That's good. Please. Right there. Okay. Well, how about now? Better. Better? Okay, guys. So we have three it's pictures. There. Three pictures. One, two, and three. Yes. And I want you guys to take a look at the pictures. And I want you guys to put which one is letter A, which one is letter B, and which one is letter C. The letter A will be mixing old and new. That's letter A. Letter B is mixing baggy and slim. And letter three, mixing colors and patterns. You know what patterns here are, is, guys? Patterns? No? You have Patron. an idea? Exactly. Patrones, diseños. Mm -hmm. Yeah? No, no estilos, diseños. For example, sí. cuadrado, triangulo, right? Like that. Pintado. Sí. Okay. So basically, guys, can you please let me know? Just, just watch the, the pictures that I have on my left. For example, the first one with the girl. Do you think it's letter A, B, or C? What do you think, guys? Um, C. 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 I think it's yes. C. Basically, yes, because we have a lot of colors, right? And a lot of patterns. Very good. What about le and number two? What do you think? A. Mm -hmm. B. Uh, the A? Mm, a. Uh, a. No. Yes. You know what baggy is? What baggy is? What is a baggy? A? Uh huh. Anybody knows what's the meaning of baggy? Like um, mm -hmm. flojo. Flojo. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm asking you. 
I'm asking you. You, if you're sure about something, you have yes. to say yes, teacher. Yes. I'm sure. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Maybe or yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Baggy guys yes, are no, flotes, yes. right? Exactly. Yes. Bag baggies. It's como like flojo, a campanado, like that. All right. Yes. Uh, so the first number. So it will be number the second one. Yes. And what about the last picture? Mixing all the new. A. A. All right. Very good, guys. It's B. It's B. Okay. So number one, the picture number one is B. And the middle one is A. That's what you said. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So it will be C. Uh -huh. C. C, the girl. Then the second B &A. one is B and A. All right. Very good. There you go. Okay, guys, so we're going to start reading about that. And I want you guys to help me. Ruano, are you here with us today? Yes. I am so happy to listen to your voice. Okay, Mr. Ruano, could you please be so kind to read for me when it says Dear Pen and Pixie from, uh, right next to the picture number one, please, if you don't mind. Okay. I'm writing a Reading? lot about how to make friends. Mm -hmm. And I see reading. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rings in the Lotus Fashion Magazine. Mm -hmm. But when I wear different prints together, I love seeing was the trick. Was the, the trick? trick? Okay, yeah. trick. I look silly. You know what silly is? Tonto. Tonto, exactly. So what it means, guys, is uh, no. It silly is como torpe. Okay. Torpe. For example, it says, I'm reading a lot of how okay. to mix prints and the last fashion magazines. It's that, that person is reading how to mix dif different patterns, right? Different patterns. But he says that when he's trying to follow or to do what he sees in the magazine, he looks silly because he cannot combine it. That's what it means. So what's the trick? ¿Cuál es el truco? Para poder com combinarlo sin verse tonto. That's what he wants to know. So let's listen what your mixed responds. Loida, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Yes. The next square. Dear mix it up. It's not difficult to wear different springs together. Find the similarity in each item of clothing you want to know, want to wear. Mm -hmm. Mix two or three items with the same background color, like wild or another neutral color. Mix a large print with, with a small one. Mix similar patterns like strippers with plate. But if you don't feel comfortable in it, don't wear it. Okay, very good. So only this one, Eloida, yeah? you said strippers, right? It's strippers. That, that, that scared me, like, what? What she's talking about? Oh my God. That, okay, yes, that, that you pronounce. From my heart. Yes, that you pronounce stripes. 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 No stripes. strippers, right? Strippers is okay. not a thing, girl. Okay, Pride. you scare me. No, yes, that's what I'm asking you to read because sometimes you can say something that is not good. And, we, and basically we can just like, um, well, we can just search it and correct it right now <laughs> and before something happens, okay? So what is a stripe means? What does stripes means? Mm -hmm. Rayas? Stripes. Stripes. Rajas, right? Yes. Okay. Stripes, guys. No strippers. Stripes. Rajas. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So basically, in your own words, Loida, <laughs> where, where, where? Yeah, oh my God. In your own words, Loida, what is exactly the answer that the person give to this, a uh, to this uh, client inquiry? What was the answer? In your own words, don't read it again. What was the answer? What is the trick? Uh, the trick is uh, the mix um, mm -hmm. with neutral colors. Ah, okay. And, and mix similar uh, 
patterns. Mm -hmm. Patterns, okay, exactly. A large print with a small one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and feel comfortable. <laughs> feel comfortable. If the other person doesn't feel comfortable, does the person has to wear it? Yes or no? No. No, exactly. As simple as that. Don't complicate your life. Very good. Now about the second one. Who can help me read it? Sirhan, can you please read for me this small one? Your can and pixie mm -hmm. number two, please. There, there can and pixie mm -hmm. and college and wore vintage clothes, mm -hmm. but now I'm thirty and need a modern look. Who can I wear vintage style without looking updated? Outdated. Outdated. Vintage. You know what vintage are, guys? All these. All these. Old. Old, old fashioned. Old. Exactly. Uh, uh huh. Old fashioned. So he's asking that. How can I wear a, a vintage style that means a style that had already passed, right? But at the same time, without looking outdated. But at the same time, without looking not too old fashioned. Okay, that's what it means. So, well, what is the answer? Dear oldie, but goodie. Okay, who can help me read it? Thank you, Dianita. Go ahead. Dianita, Dianita, Dianita. Hopefully they need this here. Well, okay, go ahead. They are all bad goodies. Okay. Casi no logro ver las letras. My God, you need to use glasses. <laughs> Don't worry, Anita. We're going to send it to you right now. Something is always it is internet. But meets big, missing big time. I sent Something it to you. For on modern, on modern. Let me check. No. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, bear with me. What What about now? Can you see it? Okay. Much better, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. So you start from the beginning. Vintage, vintage clothing oh. is always in, mm. but me. <laughs> In good sometimes now for for modern look. Very where, good. We are having text here with pants. Very good. We are on all bed with a new a new ball. A new bag. A new, oh. new bow. Near winter shoes with new jeans. With new jeans. But, but, no gym. But sometimes you need to alter the clothes. The clothes is very good. For example, for example, mm -hmm. takes a buggy takes a gear and make it a slim mm -hmm. or cut the shoulder part of of Bintax jacket. Very good. So the clue guys here is to mix the old things with with new things right if you're going to wear an, an old pants you need to wear a new shirt for example right or combine an old belt with a new bag right very good excellent and last but not least yes. anita anita romero are you here yes teacher okay can you please be so kind to read for me the last picture Yes. Dear Ken and Pixie, I'm see, mm -hmm. see, I'm seen. I'm seen. I'm seen both baggy pants and skinny pants on the designer runways. Mm -hmm. Also, short pants and long pants. What's in style? Very good, excellent. Who can answer for this one? And let me check. Kevin, are you here with us? Or Boris? Who is here with us, Boris or Kevin? They're confused, Kevin. <laughs> it's not Kevin? Uh-huh. I have him, Kevin Bijalta. Yes. It's not here, right? Okay. Eu, what about you, girl? I know you're here. 
eu, 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 eu. Yes, I am okay, here. Okay, okay. So can you please be some kind of read for me? Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Dear computer carry, it's all in style. For fans, anything goes this year. The trick is to wear something on top that is the opposite of the style of the pants. So if you're wearing baggy pants, try a slim shirt. The blind finds are your things wear a baggy sweater. Short pants, try full funky shoes. Shoes. Wear long pants with shoes. Wear long pants with your skin. Skirt. Tucket. Uh, skirt. Tucket. In an uh, a belt. Very good. May I ask you guys, was it a little bit hard, this one? A little bit. A little bit, right? A little bit. It's basically, especially because we have a really new phrases Words. and new vocabulary. I know. Yes. So sometimes, guys, I, I have chosen that because even though we already yes. know about appearance and how to say some part of the clothes, right? Like like blouse, earrings, and so everything like that, and accessories like belts, for example. Sometimes you will face, guys, uh, an article that you don't know one or two or many of the words of the paragraph. But please, never stop. Because if you stop reading, where, when you find a word that you don't know, you will need to start all over again, and then you will lose the idea. So my best recommendation will be continue reading. Continue reading the, the paragraph and the words after the, uh, uh, the following words after the, the, the new word for you that you don't know, they will give you the clue or they will give you the idea what is exactly that new word means, okay? So if you read it, I just want you guys to do it that. Continue reading, never stop, never stop. And that will help you. Yeah, <laughs> my husband say, time out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just teasing you. Yeah, so that, that, that's why I have chosen this article because uh, even though you face to a new word for you, please never stop, continue reading. If you continue reading, you will find the answer on the same paragraph and then they will give you an idea what is exactly that word means? Because even though when you study English or when you face those uh, exams that I'm letting you know, the TOEIC and the TOEFL, there will be, in the TOEIC, there are similar articles like the one that we see in class. But the TOEFL, they are like uh, academic articles. And sometimes we will not know all the words, especially if they're talking about laws, right? Uh, engineer things, IT department, you know, because it's not our area but never stop, okay? Because if you get used to those reading tricks, it will help you because you will have time to answer a specific questions according to the article. So that's why we need to start it from right now, okay? So right now, guys, uh, who's, who's raising the hand? Let me check, who said, hi, how are you? Let me check. Uh, oh yes okay yes Anita Romero I'm going to send the picture of that <laughs> okay so this is what I'm gonna do it will be for our uh, basically guys for you to practice this I'm gonna send this picture for the article and at the same time guys I'm going to say the questions regarding the article okay so you can practice for your own let me double check it right now Okay, I send the article and I'm gonna send the questions right now. So bear with me. Okay, hopefully you receive it. Did you receive it guys? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, all righty, yes. awesome. Okay guys, so to be honest with you, it was our last class today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I didn't feel the time. I don't know about you, but I didn't feel it. It was like, Faster, Thank right? You. Yeah. Very well, fast. Thank you very good. for all teacher. Thank you so yes. much for all I, as well. I really Thank enjoyed you. these classes. The crazy thing, right? <laughs> Thank you for your help, yeah.
That's my pleasure. Thank you very, very much. Funny. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, for Thank you who said I'm very funny. Carlitos Runner, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I am just trying to transmit I hope a we, little bit of knowledge. We are I have. together again. I don't know. That was will be a really good question, Janet. Hopefully, we are. Hof uh, maybe if not. I don't know. That depends on them. It's maybe. I hope so. Uh, me too. It depends on the administrative department. But if I if I'm with you, great. And if not, you will learn something else from another teacher. They are not as crazy as I am, <laughs> but uh, but they have their stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. So you, I know, Carlito Antonio, you have to go to sleep. I know, especially Hello. with Mister with Mister what with Mister Snoopy. You know what? <laughs> the whole <laughs> the whole uh, model, yeah. and I have Snoopy. never uh, met a Snoopy. It's relaxing this morning. <laughs> every every time in the class is relaxing. I don't know why. Yes. Okay. Oh, when the well, yes. <laughs> okay, guys. It was nice to have you one more time. You had to go to rest, right? But I'm, I'm so, so happy to see you. Okay, guys. Hugs and kisses. Have a great week, okay? Hopefully we see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.